Alright, what's good? I'm back with another video. So I know I'm a little late on this, but John Collins has been traded for Rudy Gay and a second round pick. So this trade wasn't a big surprise because the Atlanta Hawks have been shopping John Collins for the past few off seasons now, and they have finally found a deal for him, which is Rudy Gay and a second round pick. So a lot of people were surprised that the Hawks traded John Collins for pretty much nothing. Because Rudy Gay is not really going to play. Second round pick's not worth much. You know, you usually don't find crazy talent in the second round. But the meaning of this trade was for the Hawks to get rid of salary. So they can get better players. They wanted to get rid of John Collins because he has a very big contract. So as, as for the Utah Jazz now, they have a nice looking team now. A young promising team after trading away Mitchell and Gobert. They got Laurie Markkinen who broke out last year averaging I think 25 a game. 24. You got Johns Collins now, Walker Kessler. You just drafted Taylor Hendricks. You got OG Abaji, THC. You have a, a lot of young and promising pieces. And I don't think the Utah Jazz will even be that bad next year. I mean, they could maybe make a run for the plane. I'm not completely sure who their starting point guard is, but maybe they want to look towards that in the NBA free agency. You know, maybe you got to Van Vliet or D'Angelo Russell, someone like that. So yeah, they do have Colin Sexton, so I forgot about that. They also got Keontae George in the draft and have Jordan Clarkson. So this team is actually not bad at all, and I can see them maybe making the play next year. Again, that's depending if Laurie Markkinen decides to play like Dirk Nowitzki again next year, but now on to the Atlanta Hawks. This team last offseason traded for DeJounte Murray from the Spurs. They gave up almost all their first-round picks. And they were literally the most mid team in the NBA, going 41 and 41. This team was straight mid. Trey Young didn't play that well. DeJounte Murray didn't play that well. And this offseason, they've been looking to pretty much blow up this whole team. And every single piece on this team is available, including Trey Young and DeJounte Murray, who they just traded for. Currently, Atlanta's trading a lot of their players away. They just started with John Collins. And according to rumors, Clint Capella is rumored to be next. I've heard teams like the Kings, the Mavericks, you know, the Sixers. All those teams could be interesting, but I think that Atlanta Hawks should just keep, you know, trading their pieces away, maybe even trade DeJounte Murray away. You know, uh, there are a lot of rumors about Trey Young right now, whether he's going to stay. He's been in Atlanta for about, what has it been, maybe four or five seasons now in the NBA. And there has been some rumors of him. Maybe teaming up with D Donikic in Dallas, going to the Lakers. There's been a lot of rumors about Trey Young. I say give him one more season and just regroup this team. You know, trade Capella, get some more shooters around them. Get a more offensively gifted center. Maybe look to get Cat. But yeah, I wouldn't say to give up on the Trey Young Atlanta Hawks era just yet. You know, it has been only four, four or five years, but hey, he did get you to the Eastern Conference Finals just, what was it, two years ago or three years ago. That was not too long ago. I say look at that team, try to restructure it to look something like that. You know, it, I mean, the team wasn't much different, but I think it's just more on Trey Young, his ability. I'll give, I would say give Trey Young maybe one more season, maybe two, if they can make a run in the playoffs this year. But yeah, very disappointing year for the Atlanta Hawks, and they definitely need to regroup this team. So yeah, expect a lot of changes, signings, and trades coming from the Atlanta Hawks because who knows how many more years Trey Young has until he just finally requests to get out. And let me know what you guys think of this trade. Who won this trade? I personally feel like both teams won this trade because, you know, Atlanta Hawks get rid of the cap space, they get a second-round pick. The Utah Jazz, they get another young player attached to their young court. So let me know what you guys think of this trade. Comment down below if you guys want to see a video or anything else. And I'll see you guys in the next video.